yes, welcome back to another Planet Coaster video. The last time I did a proper series or build recreation was Jewel or Colossus, which neither of them I finished, so that's amazing. But this one I am determined to finish because it's only a small little area. That is right, I'm going to be building and recreating the brand new area of the world of Jumanji, including two smaller rides and, of course, the main attraction, this huge B&M winged shuttle launch coaster. Two-sided B&M B&M. So if you go on to enjoy this short little project, feel free to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Hello. Yes, as you can see, I am building on Planet Coaster for the first time in forever, it feels like. As you know, I have done videos in the past where I've made Wicker Man an RMC or Grand National an RMC, made Rita better, all that kind of stuff. But I haven't done one of these recreation I would say one-to-one -one recreations, but they're really not one-to-one. -one. I haven't done one of these videos in absolutely ages. Last one was probably, as I said in the intro, Jewel or Colossus, which, as you know, I didn't finish. So hopefully, this one I do actually end up finishing, because it is quite a small area, as I ended up realising when I finished this coaster. And as you can probably realise now, because we are not even one minute in to this time lapse and I've already almost finished the coaster. That is how short this roller coaster is going to be when it opens at Chessington World of Adventures next year. But yeah, it has been very enjoyable seeing this construction take place over the course of the past year because it started off as just some green walls surrounding this field and everyone was like, something must be going on inside of there. I mean, personally speaking, in speculation time before, I have said that the next coaster will go there and um, I was right. I'll take that for once because Usually, I am very horribly wrong with my speculation, but for some reason I got it right this time, so we'll take that. But um, honestly, seeing it just go from a couple green walls around the edge to being this coaster, which I know the coaster itself isn't built fully yet, but the track is there, which means soon come, the track will be complete and it will be opening. Literally in March next year, I can assume, which is crazy. That is so close compared to what we thought of at the start of the year. It is amazing to see, and um, I've probably said that word loads of times and you know what's also amazing to see the fact that me waffling for that long has led to this coaster literally almost being complete i i hate the fact that i am able to completely lose focus on everything all at once and sometimes it is really strange doing one of these videos though because again haven't done one of these time lapse things in ages so me completely just going off on one and talking it's not normal. <laughs> so, and there you go, there's the colour change as well. It's, it's going too fast. I know that's what a time lapse does, but it's going very fast. But as you can see there, you may be a bit questioning to how this coaster may work. If you've played Planet Coaster, you might not know about the physics of this game. You would know because you've played it. What's wrong with me? What I meant to say is if you haven't played Planet Coaster before, you may not know that the type of coaster that this is with a shuttle launch and all that kind of stuff is pretty much impossible to do in game because if it rolls back from the spike that i'm building right now i know i'm custom supporting it but the same thing applies <laughs> if it rolls back from that spike which is what it's going to do in real life the lsms or the launch sections won't be able to launch it backwards it will just continuously try and launch it forwards because this game is this game and planet coaster i wish it had more stuff but they're not going to update it anytime soon because it's quite an old game and I'm here for it. But how I've gone about that is I've had to glitch the game. <laughs> so pretty much there's this glitch where you can get to the end of a spike section, which is obviously the top of that curled up helix. And you can kind of invert the train to go back along where it came from, which sounds a bit complicated, but pretty much I've just had to retrack another section going underneath the original track section that it goes along. It sounds really confusing, but sadly, that's the only way this ride will work. And as you can see, the custom support work is coming in. I do, I do want to quickly say as well that this isn't going to be the most amazing recreation ever. Like, even my ones before weren't, and I haven't played the game in about a year properly to do these types of things. So it'll probably be even worse than my older ones, which weren't great anyway. So I'm sorry about that. I'm trying my best. I mean, if you've seen the thumbnail, the Jaguar statue it isn't the best looking Jaguar ever, but again, it would probably take me quite a long time. And right now I do want to focus on doing some more other videos than kind of building this. But this is a nice little side project to do, especially because now it is closed season. Although I do hope to have this finished quite soon. So um, we'll see about that. But here you go. I am currently doing some grass work. Now I skipped all the path stuff because 
That was so boring. Like, I just went round the pathways that are mapped down on the floor and just put them there. Like, why do you want to see that? That's not very fun, is it? Um, but as you can see, doing some chain fencing as well. Basically, the map on the floor is what they plan to do with the area. So it may not be the official thing that gets made, but it is what they are saying they're going to make. So that's why I've copied it. I've put all the fencing in the same place. I've tried to put all the pathwork in the same place. And I'll eventually put all the rides in the same place. And here comes the Jaguar. Wow, that was a quick change. Jesus Christ, this is going way too fast. I, this took me probably hours and you're seeing it in about four minutes. That's really sad. But as you can see, I have tried to make this out of stone. Now, I know a lot of people would say, why don't you make it out of smaller pieces? Like I, I probably would have told myself that years ago but as i said i'm not very good at this game so i've decided to make it out of the rock pieces because it is the right material to go for because it, it does look rocky in real life or as i said in my last video it has some good rockage on it so as you can see putting the teeth in there trying to keep to the rock pieces i've put the little gem thing in its head but again it's just some art shapes like it don't look very good but in the end from a distance i did actually think this jaguar statue looked decent it looks like it's supposed to be there and that's kind of what i wanted i didn't want it to look like a, a different animal or just look stupid so hopefully i managed to do that and if it does end up looking terrible by the end of the area i might go and redo it so you might see that later down the line as well and also if you do want to see a live stream of me building this area please feel free to tell me because I'd love to do another live stream where I build something in Planet Coaster. Do love the little challenges and stuff like the 10 minute challenge that stresses me out beyond infinity. But it was a lot of fun, to be fair. So, uh, well, it can't really stress me out to infinity when it, it 10 minutes. But there you go. It was a lot of fun. And as you can see, I am now finishing up the Jaguar statue. But yeah, if you do want to see live streams of this project, then feel free to leave that in the comments below and I'll definitely give it a go because why not? As you can see, I'm kind of eyeing up the Jaguar at this point because, you know, I'm an intimidating man. I am. I'm really not. But I, I, just, I just gave it a hat. Why did I give it a hat of just a bush? I just put a bush on its head. How do you feel? I can't believe I've done this. But I'm putting some nice little shrubbery and some foliage inside and on the outside of the Jaguar statue just to make it look a bit more Jumanji and jungle-ish, which it does look like that anyway in real life. But, yeah, we're coming towards the final stages of this Jaguar statue and honestly I'll throw you back into the area in a second you'll realize how much I've done in such a short space of time and how complete it looks it's it's quite a small area so as I said this won't be a long series it probably will be about two episodes long and maybe one live stream and that'll be it but as you can see we stick the Jaguar in and it doesn't look half bad it, it doesn't look horrendous it fits in and it sort of looks like a Jaguar. It's it, it works, in my opinion, as the train flips in the background. If you want to see the construction of the real thing being built, click here. 